Ooh. Beautiful. Done. I'm going to serve. Cooking up. Hi, this is Cooking Appa. I have approximately 250 grams of uh, pork loin sliced into thin slices. And I'm going to cook this stir-fry using some ginger and also this one. Ta -da! This is dried chili. Or it is also called gong bao in Chinese. Now, I'm not really making a gong bao dish, a uh, gong bao fried meat. No, not really. Because gong bao and fried meat, usually they will put in some black vinegar. Today, I'm not going to put in the black vinegar. So anyway, I have a few pieces of dried chili. You don't have to soak it. Just have to wash it. And probably you want to remove some of the seeds inside. So that it's not too spicy. Then we have some minced garlic. Some uh, ginger slice. I'm using a bentong ginger here. My favorite ginger. And also some shallot. So first of all, we need to marinate the meat. A bit of light soy sauce, oyster sauce, some fine salt, some cooking up our chicken stock powder. This is made out of 100% natural ingredient. Some saucing wine, a few dishes of white pepper. And we shall marinate this, mix everything up nicely together. You will start seeing the liquid all will be absorbed by the pork. Uh, this is in Chinese cooking, this is called Ta Sui. You are practically beating water inside into the pork itself. Um, this is what really will help to make the pork uh, tender. Next thing, we're going to add some cornstarch. Also, this will help to make the pork more tender. And last but not least, there's one more thing. To make your stir frying process easier, I'm going to add in some oil, some cooking oil. Of course, you can use um, garlic oil even better. It will flavor the further flavor the ingredient, uh, the meat even further. Yeah. Once you add the oil inside later, is you're going to find it's very easy to stir fry. All right. Then we can set it aside. If you like darker color, you can actually add in some dark sugar. Uh, sorry, dark dark soy sauce. Or you can add it towards the end later, also can, no problem. So we're going to start, we'll give it 2-3 tablespoons of cooking oil, um, vegetable oil. Heat it up. Once the wok and the oil is heated up, we can add in the dried chili, ginger, garlic and also shallot. Saute this for a minute or two to bring out the nice aroma. So once you start seeing some of the ingredients here started to brown or you can see the chili, dried chili started to expand, you can actually add in the marinated pork. Uh, Actually, a lot of restaurants will use pork belly for this particular dish. But I find uh, lean pork perfectly fine as well. Now the thing about pork, using pork is you just always may, uh, remember you have to cut against the grain. Meaning you cut, uh, you cut your pork against the flow of the pork. Yeah? Then it will be tender also. There are many reasons how you can make a pork tender. Of course, nowadays, Oh, it's very expensive. I think these two years, the pork has already increased double the price. 
Some people even told me they will eat less pork. Mmm. Ooh, really fragrant right now. I'm going to give it some soft wine. Mm. A little bit of hot water. Give it some light soy sauce. Oyster sauce, a bit of salt. Mm. A bit of sugar. Wow, super fragrant. You know, you can use the same method to cook pork liver. Uh, uh, yeah. Mm. I think tomorrow I want to go and buy some pork liver. And I would love to have um, this dish of darker color. So, dark soy sauce. You don't have to put in too much dark soy sauce. Just enough to give it some color. You put too much dark soy sauce, the whole dish can become bitter. Wow, look at this. You can choose to starch your dish towards the end. Uh, I may not do that. I'm not really a starch person, but I already added some cornstarch in the marination, yeah? Right. Now, I'm just going to cover this with approximately about one minute. Then after that, it should be done. Right, one minute with a lid. Ah, look at how beautiful it is. Look at this, it's basically done. Now, uh, right before serving, I will add in some garlic oil. A little bit. Or you can put sesame oil up to you. Ooh. Beautiful, done. I'm gonna serve. Right, so here's my very simple stir fry uh, pork slices with ginger and also dried chili. If you like my video, do share my video on Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Appa Facebook page to click like and the follow button. Follow up on the Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Appa YouTube channel. A few dashes of white pepper if you like towards the end. Alright, bye bye!